Hello? Anybody here? We're coming aboard. Coming aboard? What would you say? Not that. If it says anything, I can't see it from this angle. It says Ryan and June, as it's some couple. Yeah, that stopped being funny a long time ago. Come here for a minute. Uh-huh. What's up? Times like this, I wish I still had a nose. There's nothing quite like the smell of sea spray. It's grimy and polluted, Joey. Count yourself lucky. Shucks, darling. You really know how to make a fella glad he's dead. Looks like we got two choices. The control room or the main cabin. Either looks good to me. Then let's get cracking. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. Creepy. Just our kind of place. Looks like a light switch. Anybody here? Hmm. Anything? Nothing yet. What the heck was that? We're moving. Yeah, I noticed. There's nobody on board but us. Yeah, I noticed that too. So we've definitely got a ghost. Yeah, we do. We're going west, so that's gotta be the George Washington Bridge. Locked. All right, who's there? Somebody's piloting this tub, and it's not me. I knew it. Not without dinner and a show first. That suit should have been abandoned 20 pounds ago. Hey, chum, how's tricks? What? what? How did you get here? I just wanna... Get off my boat! Get off or I'll shoot you dead! <laughs> right. Look, why don't you put that toy down and... Ow! What the hell? That hurt! Get off! Listen. Whoa! Hey, alright, I'm going. Joey, what was that noise? Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Looks like we got a spook after all. And he's packing heat. You mean he's got a gun? Were you shot? Yeah. Sorta. Sorta? What happened? Does it hurt? It stings a lot, yeah. But it's going away now. Getting no closer to shore. Sleeping on a boat makes my stomach churn. Hey Joey, looks like I found a ghost. You're going to say spirits, aren't you? Er, uh, maybe. I'm just gonna pretend you never said anything. Can't do anything with that. It's a key. Looks like it's about to fall off that peg. I can't make heads or tails out of this thing. Bunch of books. None of them look useful. 
Ah, right. Looks like I'm screwing with airborne signals again. Whatever this thing is, it's flickering like mad. Looks like an air vent that goes into the room above. It's held into place with a few screws. No good. It's screwed tightly in place. Leftover change from the coffee I bought before we came here. Got it. I got these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. There's something funny about this wall. Tag on the key reads, bridge. Fits perfectly. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Talk fast. Whoa, relax, I'm just here to talk. Talk? Talk is cheap, and so is life. Hey, wait, no! Huh? I shot you, how are you still standing? I'm so glad that worked. My name's off. It's, it's gotta, gotta be the stress. Who are you? I'm, uh... I own this boat. What? what? No, no, you, you don't. don't. I own this boat. Did, Did someone, someone from the, the bank, bank send you? Bank? What bank? What, what bank? bank? You, you don't, don't know? know? I'm afraid not. You're serious? You don't even know who I am, do you? So, what do I do with you? You don't look like a cop, and you're not with the bank. That only leaves... Oh, I get it. You're a stowaway, aren't you? Boy, did you choose the wrong boat. Look, I have no time to deal with this right now. I'm not going to shoot you again. Just go below and stay out of my way. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm busy. Is your name Ryan by any chance? What's it to you? Oh, nothing. Just making conversation. I'm Rosangela, by the way. Great! Now leave. So, tell me about June. What do you know about her? Nothing. I just saw the engraving on the side of the ship. Just get out of here, okay? What made you think I came from a bank? Nothing. No reason. Just get out of here. Well... Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Just, Just stay, stay out, out of my way. way. Looks like a satellite navigation system. It reads our position from a satellite. The map on the screen shows our position as Antarctica. Navigation and travel books mostly. It's a strange looking diagram. Looks like it was poured and never drank. The last time I drank on the job, it didn't end too well. Although believe me, I'm tempted. Looks like a cabinet to me. Empty. 
There's something funny about this wall. Holy moolah! Will you look at that? There's got to be over a million dollars in there. I know it's tempting, kid, but I say leave that alone. Nobody ever leaves that kind of dough just lying around. Nobody we want to meet anyway. Don't worry, Joey. I'm not stupid. It's just, wow, I've never seen so much money. I know, dear. I know. You can look, but don't touch. Stacks of hundred dollar bills. There must be over a hundred of them. Hmm, that's interesting. Each stack has the same wrapper around them, and they all have the same letters printed on them. GCT. What's that? Sounds like a clue to where the money came from. The money wrappers had the letters GCT printed on them. Hmm, GCT could stand for a bank's name. Easy enough to find out. Time for a little cross-referencing. Thought so. There are a lot of GCTs out there, but only the Grant City Trust seems to be a bank. Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm, I'm busy. busy. Tell me about the money. You leave that alone. Don't you dare touch any of that money. It's mine. I've earned it ten times over with my own blood, sweat, and tears. I've got to get away. Then I'll be free and clear. Free and clear from what? Forget it. Just get out of here, will you? I know about the Grant City Trust. What about them? I know you robbed them. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter if you know. They can't catch me now. You used to work for them, didn't you? You bet I did. Thirty years of service, and they were going to lay me off without a second thought. Well, I certainly showed them. I just gotta get to Boston. Once I get there, I'm free and clear. Boston? What's in Boston? I have a cousin with a private plane. That's what. Once I get to Boston, I'm going to dump this yacht and take a one-way trip to anywhere. So you're not stopping until we get to Boston? Not a chance. So make yourself comfortable. So how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's see. According to my satellite navigation system, we are... In Antarctica. That can't be right. Something must be interfering with the navigation system. It'll fix itself in a minute. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm busy. So, how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's see. According to my satellite navigation system, we are... The Gulf of Mexico. I know we can't be that far off course. Something must be interfering with the navigation system. It'll fix itself in a minute.
Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm, I'm busy. busy. So, how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's see. According to my satellite navigation system, we are... <laughs> Look at that. According to this, we're a mile outside of Boston Harbor. I feel like I've been piloting this boat near forever. I've got to go on deck and take a look. What a beautiful sight this is going to be. Ryan? That's the George Washington Bridge. That's right. This isn't Boston. No, it's not. How is this possible? How can I still be in New York? I've been piloting this boat for... I don't know how long! I must have left New York waters by now. How long, Ryan? What? Just how long have you been piloting this boat? I don't know. I grabbed the money a few hours after closing time. That must have been 9 p.m.? I came straight to the boat, so it's only been a few hours. Right? I hid the money down below. I set out. And then, I heard sirens. The harbor police on the bullhorn. They boarded. No, no, they didn't get me. They couldn't have. I was so desperate to get away. I had my gun. I missed. They shot back. That's all I remember. They did get me. I'm sorry, Ryan. For 30 years, they made me bleed, and they finally killed me once and for all. Excuse me, this is a lot to take in. We use this to help lost ghosts move on. It's the only part of me that Red can touch. I'm not sure how blowing my tie is even slightly productive. Not without dinner and a show first. Hey Ryan, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? It's to help you on your way. My way? Yes, Ryan. It's time for you to move on. <sighs> Yes, I guess it's time. I think... I think I went a bit mad. It's all so clear to me now. My wife died. Did I tell you about that? Her name was June. Yes, cancer. But it wasn't pretty. But when she died, I kind of lost it. My work suffered quite a bit. Maybe they had no choice but to fire me, but I thought that 30 years of service was worth something. I guess I was wrong. Strange. Why is this all so obvious to me now that I'm dead? I wish I knew. Still, the bank will never get their money back. I made sure they paid for that, at least. We found the money. We'll have to return it to them. I know that's the right thing to do, but you won't get the chance. Then what are you talking about? You'll find out. June, if you're out there, I'm coming. Say, darling, you wouldn't know how to pilot this floating crate, would you? No. Why? Because we've increased speed by, uh, a lot, and we're headed straight towards the Jersey Shore. What? Is that what he meant? What who meant? Never mind. All these buttons are Greek to me. What do we do? Can you swim? Hey, careful. Oh, God. Oh, God. You ready? No. Jump. I can't take you anywhere. Shut up. I'm wet, I'm filthy, and I'm in New Jersey. Relax, will ya? We saved another one. Score another point for us. Yeah, that yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. 
We are so not getting paid. Not one lead cent. <sighs> City dock wall. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Who'd be calling me now? Joey, could you, uh... Right, right. Hello? Hi, is this Rosangela? Yes, who's this? It's been a while. This is Jeremy Sams. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the Village Eye? Oh, God, no. I left there a year ago. I work at the City Post now. Really? That's a big step up. Congratulations. Thanks. I actually hoped you could help me with an article I'm working on. Me? I've come down with the flu or something really bad. I need to follow up on some interviews and the window is closing. Can you help? Come on. You'll be paid and you can share the byline. Well, tell me what it is first. Awesome. Come on over and we'll chat. Thanks a mil, Rosangela. So we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. The City Post is a pretty important paper. Maybe they'll want a spiritual news column. I doubt it. This African ghost drum is supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It, um, doesn't. I got this one a few months ago. It's doing pretty well. I used to stare into that thing for hours. Still do sometimes. Joey used to screw with my reception, so I finally got cable TV installed. 70 bucks a month and nothing's ever on. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. He's 30 years old, but doesn't look a day over 20. I've had this one for about 10 years now. I suppose it's due for a trim. I sold most of my books after getting my phone. This thing is perfect for reading on the subway. My radio listening day stopped when Joey came along. It was here when I moved in. It's probably older than I am. My end table, full of random junk. Since I got my phone, I only use this for writing. Just some old articles, bills, and reminders. Nothing important. I haven't changed the month in ages. The article is titled, The Rise and Fall of the Meltzer Foundation. I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. This building doesn't have a doorman anymore, so they put in these buzzers. It's fine where it is. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. It's the last article I ever wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. It was about three college kids who committed suicide. Come on in. I'll be out in a sec. Is this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Hmm? Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. I, haven't I haven't been feeling well, as I said. Who's, Who's your, friend? your friend? Is something wrong? Jeremy? Are you dead? I certainly feel sick enough to be dead. I haven't been able to leave the apartment in two days. I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I'm on the verge of something really big. 
That's why I need your help. You need our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my... assistant. An assistant? Really? You've definitely come a long way since the village I... You could say that. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joey. I like the hat. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with you? It's just the flu. Nothing to worry about. I'll be fine in a few days. I just want to get this article submitted before it's too late. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. I go myself, but I'm not exactly up to snuff. Snuff is the word. Joey! What? So what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, of course I'll help. It's what I do. Remind me, what do you need me to do again? The first thing is go over to the City Post News office and grab my notes from my desk. Then we'll take it from there. The receptionist should let you in. I'll call her and tell her you're on your way. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. Well, I better get going. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then. Jeremy's desk is neat as a pin. He always was a bit of a neat freak. Those look like articles Jeremy wrote for the City Post. None from the village I, though. Can't say I blame him. The hustle and bustle of 23rd Street. A bit noisy, but it's nice to look at. Lots of nonfiction and books by journalists. Oh my god. Is that me? I mean, us? Yeah. You remember the 05 Christmas party? Yeah, that was a while ago. I was going through some old pictures when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. It's Jeremy, back when he was alive. I don't even remember getting this picture taken. Ugh, what a horrible picture of me. Jeremy? Yes? yes? Well, I better get going. All right. Thanks again, Rosa. I never knew Jeremy was so religious. Oh, I'm not. Not really. It belonged to my grandmother. Hey, look. Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. I know it's a bit weird, calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. No, you don't have to do that, really. Just... just take care of yourself. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Then let's hop to it. Could I help you? What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? 
Are you serious? You mean you don't know? Of course not. What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Look, I'm sorry. I can't prove it, but I know he's dead. Are you done? Or do I need to call security to escort you out? I'll be going, I guess. Bye. Um, no. I'll wait till we're alone. It's one of them computer things. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. It's one of them computer things. An office cubicle, empty. Looks like a press pass. I can't make heads or tails out of what this says. Leads into an office. I'm not just gonna float through any random door I see. It's the way out of here. I guess with the door open like that, a breeze is nothing new. Stymied by another door, huh? Sometimes I wonder why I bother bringing you along. Stymied by an- Sometimes I wonder why I bother bringing you along. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. He looks pretty grim. I wonder what he's doing here. Excuse me, officer? It's Detective. Detective Durkin. And you shouldn't be up here at this hour. Did something happen here? No, I'm doing street art. Of course something happened. You should run along home. You don't want the same thing to happen to you. Someone died, didn't they? Gee, what tipped you off? Believe me when I say you don't want to be involved. Could you tell me who it was? Couldn't, even if I wanted to, because we don't know. So it's a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. I think I know who the victim was. You do, huh? His name was Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? I just do. You just do. Yes. What is it about Pox that brings out all the crazies? I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You wanna come look at the body? You know how crazy you sound? I do? You come out of nowhere, and say you know a stiff by looking at an outline on pavement? Yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. I'm offering information here, why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? We have procedures. We'll release a photograph, and then get a proper ID. Now run along. Right. I'll be back. It's a free country. What do you want me to do, blow in his ear? She looks a bit lost in thought. Guess I can't blame her. <laughs> 